Once you verify your account, adjacent to MongoDB deployments, click on the Create New button. Over here, you're going to select a single node and then Sandbox. Then you're going to give a database name. I'm going to call this Video Player. Then click on Create New MongoDB Deployment. Now select the database that was just created, so which is the Video Player database. Over here, scroll down to Collections, and on the right, you should see Add Collection. Over here, I'm going to give a collection name, which is Videos, and I'm going to create the collection. The next step is to add users so that you can connect to the database. So click on Users, and over here, again, on the right-hand side, I'm going to click Add Database User. So I'm just going to call this user Vishwas, password as PW Vishwas, and then I'm going to confirm the password as well. I'm going to create. Once the database user is created, go back to collections and click on the videos collection to insert new documents. Over here, click on add document. Now I have created three documents and I'm just going to copy paste them so that this is going to be quicker. Now within the pair of curly braces, I'm going to paste the first document. Each video is going to contain a title, a URL, and a description. So now scroll down to the bottom and click on create and go back. Now similarly, I'm going to create the second document, so add document within the pair of curly braces a title, a URL, and a description, create and go back. And similarly, the third document, a document over here, paste it, create and go back. So I have created three documents, each representing a video. With that, we complete the MongoDB part of our application. We have created a database, a collection, and inserted few documents within the collection. We also added a user to the database. The next step is to set up the API endpoints for the application.